my glow babies, welcome back to my channel here at JShot Beauty. If you're new, welcome, but if you've been here before, what's up? So today I'm going to be showing you this makeup look. Yes, you see it? I worked really hard on this, guys. <laughs> if you like it, keep watching. If you don't, I suggest that you guys leave now. I mean, like, right now. Like, y'all should go now. <laughs> But if you want to stay tuned, I'll be more than happy to show you how I achieve this look. I'm only going to be doing my eye makeup with the Juvia's Place palettes. This one is the Magic Mini by Juvia's. This one is the Saharan 2 by Juvia's. And this one is the Masquerade by Juvia's. I've used this one before as you can see. <laughs> I'm going to prime my face with this Too Faced Hangover X. This is the Replenishing Face Primer with coconut water. Mm. Ah! I've gotten a lot of dark spots on my face that I don't love, but they're from like acne spots that I tried to pop and they left scars like right here. Here. So I got this uh, CNC concealer. This is orange. It's supposed to hide your dark spots. For my brows, I'm just going to go with my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Dip Brow Pomade. This is in the shade Ebony. And I'm just going to use this to first outline the ends. Bottom and top. not taking it all the way over to the inside of my brow because I'll show you guys in a second what I'm about to do. Now I'm going to be taking my, this is Scone Brow Wand, it's an eyebrow pencil and where the inside is just gonna fill that in i'm taking that a little further than where my brows actually are this is the anastasia beverly hills clear brow gel and I'm just going to run that through my brows I want to do it up and over just like I filled them in it just keeps them together next I'm going to take my ColourPop no filter concealer and I'm just going to conceal top and bottom of my brow Okay, I'm gonna do the other brow off camera and I'll be right back. And let's move on to eyes. So, to use as a primer for a base for my eyeshadow, I'm gonna use this NYX Full Coverage Concealer. Comes in a little tube like this. This is Sand Beige. I'm just gonna put that on my eye. So, for my base, I'm gonna be using this palette, the Masquerade. And I'm going to be using Burkina as my base. As usual, I'm going to be taking my Morphe M321 brush. And I'm going to go in to this Masquerade palette. And I'm going to use G right here. I'm going to just use that for my top part right here.
Ooh, I'm liking where this is going so far. And with the same brush, I'm gonna go into uh, is this Ive? I'm not sure what that says right there, but this dark blue. I love my little sponge brushes. They pick up so much pigmentation. Like, it's crazy. Now that the dark blues are on, let's go ahead and cut the crease and get those lighter blues on. I'm liking how this is looking so far, y'all. This is different for me, but. I'm feeling these blues. To cut my crease, I'm going to be using my ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is Dark 46. And we're just going to use this to cut the crease. I love the way my little applicators pick up. So I'm just going to take this one and go in with the Masquerade palette. And I'm going to use this blue right here. This is Dahlia. Dahlia. Put her closest to the dark blue. I'm just going to tap that in. Just like that. Next, I'm going to take the Saharan, 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 <laughs> not Saharan 2 palette, and I'm going to use that blue right there, and for the inner corner, I'm going to go ahead and use that light blue. And let's go ahead and do this inner corner with that light blue. Alright, I'm going to hop off camera and do the other eye real quick and I'll be right back. Now that both eyes are done, shall we continue? For my foundation, I'm going to be using my favorite, the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation. Y'all, this is my go-to. This is in the shade Sienna. I love it. It's definitely my favorite. I do about one and a half pumps. That usually gets it. After that, I'm taking my fluffy brush and buffing that out. You gotta be careful not to buff out your eyebrows. So just go around up. I'm gonna be using both my Tarte Shape Tape and my Revolution Conceal and Define. My Conceal and Define is in the shade C13 and the Tarte is medium to put just a little bit because this is really light just a little bit in the corners and down the nose for the tart and this to mix it And to contour, I'm going to be using my Revolution Makeup Revolution uh, Conceal and Define. This is the shade C15. And let's contour. I only contour my cheeks. Like that. And my nose. And that's pretty much all I do. Okay, with my damp beauty blender. I'm just going to 
blend out. This has been my go-to uh, baking powder. This is the revol This is the makeup revolution luxury baking powder. This is terracotta. I like it because it gives me that glow that I need. I'm gonna take another damp beauty blender and dab into it, and just put it everywhere where I highlighted. And while that's sitting, I'm going to take a regular brush, whatever kind of brush this is, and this take home the bronze bronzer. This is an anti-orange bronzer. Interesting, you didn't know that. I'm just going to put that where I want to contour, or where I did contour my nose. And all my cheeks. Now I'm going to buff out that baking powder. Next I'm going to brush me out just a little bit. This is the Skinny Dip Blush. Um, I don't know what shade this is. It came in my Ipsy package, but I like this blush. So, so let's take this palette. This is the Magic Mini. I'm going to take that gold color right there and just put it underneath my brow for a little pop. For eyeliner, I'm going to be taking my NYX Matte Liquid Liner. And I'm going to do this part off camera because I really can't do my liner on camera. I'll be fucking up. So far it is looking pretty nice if I don't say so myself, but let me pop on some lashes and some mascara and I'll be right back y'all. Y'all, I am feeling this. Oh, to set it all off, let's go ahead and set this face. This is the e.l.f. Dewy Setting Mist. I use a lot of mattes for my face, so I'm just going to use this dewy to bring it back to life. Ooh. Okay guys, this is the finished look. I am in love with this. Um, I've never tried... I never tried blue eyeshadow, so this is something very different for me. Um, <clears throat> you guys don't know how much this means to me that I've hit 100 subscribers. I'm at 111 right now, and I love each and every one of you guys. Just thank you for tuning in. I hope that this helps a lot of you, you know, with your makeup or your hair. Or I just, I'm just here to give insight on what I do because a lot of people like my makeup. So, hope you guys like it. <laughs> and thank you for tuning in to my channel here at J Shop Beauty. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Bye.